everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany if you're new here and I know it's been a hot minute since I made a video but I thought I would sit down and show you guys everything that I'm doing for homeschooling this year. So this is actually my second year of homeschooling my daughter who is now in grade one and it is feeling still a little overwhelming, not gonna lie. I feel like the first few years definitely is gonna feel like this but I am excited about it. I am feeling encouraged and just energized to start the year. So I thought that I would kind of sit down, show you all the curriculum we're using, um, just kind of how our days kind of go, and then also answer some of your questions at the end. Okay, but also I want to remind you that I still have a lot to figure out. I'm not an expert by any means. So I'm just showing you what we're kind of trying this year to see what works best for us because it's gonna take me a few years to finally get into our groove and figure out what kind of curriculum works for us. And I think that's the thing with homeschooling. It's super flexible. You don't have to stay with one thing or doing something a certain way the entire time. You can switch it up. You can try new things and that's okay. So now that I have a toddler, a preschooler, and a grade student, I am definitely in a season where it's just really, really busy. And so basically when we do school is when uh, my youngest is napping. So he is still taking two naps a day, which is great. And so I have a, a bit of time where he is not like needing me. And so usually we'll have him go down for a nap and then for my preschooler, I am giving him some coloring sheets and like color by number and some free worksheets that I um, found online. It's this great website. I'll put the link down below for you guys. And he basically just does his thing when I am going through everything with my daughter. So um, it seems to be working so far. Again, we just started our school year a few days ago, so we are still tweaking things, but I do think that this is gonna work really, really well for us. Another thing I really wanted to just incorporate into our homeschool year is just a daily schedule that my kids can visually see, kind of like events or whatever. It's part of a daily rhythm bundle from Treehouse Schoolhouse. Again, I'll put all the links down below for you guys um, for everything I talk about today. It just comes with a bunch of things you can put on a visual schedule. And I, I basically just made this um, fabric um, kind of hanger with um, with Velcro attached to it and then I just put little Velcro on the back of each one so I can switch them around um, depending on the day or what subjects that we're doing. So it's really helpful. It makes my daughter really excited and it's really um, nice for her to know what's happening during what part of the day. Um, and that is super helpful for my kids as we are getting back into regular routine and like sticking to our schedule. It just is go with the flow. So really loving that schedule. Also, one thing that we really love Love to start our day off with is basically this little um, kind of weather and seasons and day chart from Love Every. We've used this for a, actually for quite a while already, but we just find it's really helpful again for the kids to visually see what day it is. We have days of the week here. We have the seasons. You can kind of pull this out and change them. It's not technically fall yet, but kids put it into fall. Um, and then you can switch the what the weather is and uh, today is kind of like cloudy. And then also we have the temperature and then if it's a weekday or weekend, so they really like to use this. Um, it's really helpful for them to visually see what day it is and things like that. Well, basically, I'm gonna kind of just go through what I'm using for each child. I'm gonna start off with my preschooler. I am not using any formal curriculum whatsoever when it comes to him. He is three and a half. He is just interested in learning his colors and his numbers um, and his letters and all that stuff. So we're not doing anything really strict or um, basically formal with him at all. I found all of these awesome worksheets on um, plainsandballoons.com. It's a free website where you can print off um, worksheets for preschool and kindergarten, and we have used those a lot in the last two years for my oldest, so that is such a great resource. If you're looking for something fun for your kids to do, there's lots of coloring pages and everything on there, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what we're kind of doing here. So I made up this binder for him. Um, these are laminated pages that I found on that website and I laminated them. So we just use a dry erase marker and he can go ahead and trace his numbers. Um, and then I have his letters in there as well. I just did a few pages like that. But again, um, I will be doing a homeschooling must haves video as well coming up soon of all kind of like my must haves um, supplies wise for um, homeschooling. 
what I've found so far. So anyway, a laminator is definitely on the list. So here we have, we kind of start off with an all about me page for every year, which the kids find really fun, just what they want to be, what they like and all that stuff. There's his drawing of himself. <laughs> just have in here again, just, just a bunch of random things, just tracing numbers. Um, we're doing the ABCs. He's coloring all of the pictures. It's just fun stuff for him to do while I am schooling my oldest. And he actually did, um, what did he do today? Where is it? Where'd it go? All right, and he did actually a color by number today and I was actually quite impressed. So yeah, it's just a bunch of great worksheets for him in there. There's tons and tons on that website that I mentioned and then this is his this is his binder for him. So he was really excited about that to start school and he's basically just been at the table with us the entire time. Like he is very just wanting to be a part of everything which is awesome to see. Love seeing my kids want to learn. It's really, really special. Anyways, I'm gonna get into the grade one stuff here. So I know I had quite a few of you ask on my Instagram what curriculum we're using, what we're doing, what are things looking like this year. Um, and basically I'm just gonna kind of go through like how we kind of are doing things. So last year, my daughter was actually going to a learning class with kids who are part of the online school that she was a part of. I have a few videos kind of um, explaining this, but basically she would just would go to a class once a week that would do science, socials, art, and a PE for the full year, which was such a blessing. I don't know what I would do without it last year, especially having a newborn. It was just wonderful. But we actually did a big move recently, and so we don't have something like that here where we are, which is really too bad. But I've already gotten together with a few moms who do homeschooling themselves, and so we are definitely um, making some friends already for her. We um, got registered again with another online school and I thought it would be interesting to do a teacher-led course this year. So we're doing math and science, which is kind of all teacher-led. So basically what that means is that she comes up with the lessons, the assignments, we do the assignments, we submit the work that we have done and she will kind of assess um, things as we go along. And so it's all online based, we meet together, um, right now once a week on Zoom so she can kind of like go through things, connect with the kids, the kids can connect with one another. It's obviously not as great if it was in person but it's definitely something different that we're trying this year. I just want to see if I like it, um, see if Brielle likes it and if it's something we're not wanting to continue we don't have to next year. And then I'm just gonna start off with showing you um, basically the curriculum we're using now. So, and what I'm doing for each subject. So I'm not doing formal curriculum for every single subject. And I'm realizing that maybe I'm just, I don't really like the formal, the formal curriculum as much. I think a lot of learning can be done just in real life and just everyday things. Um, and so I'm kind of realizing that maybe my homeschooling style isn't as formal as I thought it was the last year because I thought that recreating public school, recreating that type of environment at home was going to be the best thing for us. And that was definitely not the case whatsoever. And so we are finding our groove, we're growing, we're learning. And this year we're definitely a lot more relaxed and just kind of like not putting as much pressure on things. So anyway, I'm ranting now, but I will show you what we're doing for Bible. So we are doing um, a Christian online school. So there is um, a Bible course that needs to be completed. So what we're basically doing for that is I actually got this little catechism book. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically just questions and answers to help children better um, understand God, humanity, sin, and salvation. Um, these are really great things for even adults to know if you're a Christian. Um, and so we've been going through this um, every single day, which has been awesome. And then also this is the Bible that we have been using for Brielle. This is the um, Kids Adventure Bible. And it is really great for early readers. It's a lot easier for them to understand. And I actually really enjoy reading it. Um, it makes things, again, a little bit easier to understand. So we have been just reading through um, a chapter um, in a book of the Bible um, every morning. And then we've been also memorizing some Bible verses as well. So we've been using this um, for a while now and we found that it was a really great resource for that. Okay, so now moving on to math. So I actually have some official curriculum for math and we are using the Marshall Cavendish Education. This is by Singapore Math, if that makes any sense to you. And this is actually just the test booklet. I don't know, oh yeah, I hear I have the other stuff. So we have a 
test booklet, we have a textbook, and there is also a workbook, and then a teacher's guide. Finding that um, we are doing the workbook, which is great, and then we are also using the tests as well, and um, the textbook is okay. Um, we aren't really using it as much as we find we, I just don't really need to um, so far, but this has been great. Um, there's so much in here. Just show you a bit of the workbook here. So it has really simple, um, really simple pages in here um, to understand and it's really just quite simple. There's a lot of great pictures in here and then here's the textbook. It's full of colors and things like that. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. And then also we have this mystery money cash, cash register. Um, so this is basically um, learning about money and we'll be doing these for a few assignments that have been assigned to us for this year. So this is also great. Um, it comes with some like flashcards, bills, coins, activity guide, and like mystery money cards. So very cool, it has like problems on the cards. So this is something that's gonna be really useful. So that's kind of what we're doing for math. And then of course we're using like blocks and objects to kind of help my daughter visually understand the concepts as well, which I find works. That's one of the ways that she really learns well is visually. So that's been going really well. Okay, so I'm gonna moving on to like reading and writing and like language arts. So we actually did these books, these workbooks last year. This is not official curriculum. These are the Spectrum um, workbooks. Um, they're really great and colorful and we really liked them last year. So I just picked up the phonics um, book and then also, um, what did I do? Sight words, <laughs> sorry. I'm like, what did I even order? Um, which is really great for her to be doing that. Um, I'm also waiting for another resource called Writing Without Tears. That is actually coming in the mail right now. And so I'm just waiting for that to arrive, which is another great resource that I'm really looking forward to. So that is another official kind of curriculum you're gonna be using. And then also, if you haven't um, been around for too long, last year we did Reading Eggs. I actually did a whole video on Reading Eggs last year and it was amazing. It's super fun and engaging and basically, that's how my daughter learned to read last year. It was awesome, it was so great. So we are doing that again this year for reading and just trying to make things as fun as possible. So now moving on to science, um, we are using this curriculum, it's the Aligned Alberta curriculum because that's where we are now. So this was actually um, recommended to us by the school. So we are doing that. There are a lot of activities. We are learning about seasons and colors and just things like that and how that works. So what's, what is it like to be a tree? There's a lot of things in here that are really great. Um, so we're gonna be going through this throughout the year. And then also along with that, um, we have a few books to go along. Basically the teacher came up with her own um, assignments for us. So she provided these books for us to go along with that. So we have, um, my first book about the five senses, which is a coloring book, but it also has like a ton of great information in here about our bodies and Braille's extremely excited about that. And then also here is another book, um, Changing Seasons. It's all about seasons and everything like that. So this is for science. Um, and she's really excited about this. So moving on to socials. I actually asked the teacher because I was like, what do you do for socials? Um, and she said there's no real like official curriculum for that. It's basically just learning about history and the world and things like that. And so I actually have this massive World Atlas book that I'm gonna be using quite a bit actually. Um, it's quite an old Reader's Digest Atlas, but it has a lot of good stuff in here for even science. So it has a ton of information in here. Um, and um, again, lots of yeah, lots of maps here. I'll just, so yeah, tons of like big maps and everything. So um, that's something that we're definitely gonna be using this year. Um, yeah, talking about stars and planets and all this stuff in here. Clouds work. So this is also a great science resource that we are going to be using. And then also we are, we are gonna be using the library often. We've done that last year and we found that using books for saying doing like a unit study on something that's really interesting 
um, is also going to be really helpful for socials especially. So yeah, that's basically all the resources that I have for this year. Um, I, again, didn't want to make things like super complicated for myself or just kind of have like so much going on um, because I tend to get overwhelmed when there's just like so many options out there. So it was great to have like a teacher who I can ask questions to and she can give me suggestions on what's good and what's like a helpful kind of curriculum. So that's been really great and I hope all of this was really, really helpful to you. Now that I've kind of got through all that, I'm just gonna answer a few of your questions. I'm gonna to try to keep this video as short as I can here. And again, if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about or you're just wondering, um, you can put it down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. So here I just have a few um, from Instagram. The first one is how many hours a day are you spending um, on school? And usually we'll probably spend like sitting at the table, um, maybe, maybe roughly two hours, maybe. Then the rest of the day is just learning outside or just doing other things around the house and just playing and having fun. So yeah, it's not too long, but we get what we need to get done during the day. So then we can move on and do things that we enjoy. And again, you know, my kids are gonna be doing some, say swimming lessons and things like that as the um, winter starts. And so we'll be doing things like that, which counts for like PE and stuff. So um, I guess like formal sitting down at the table is like maximum two hours a day. How to gently start at three years old, just with simple things. To be honest, like I said, like you can just do fun worksheets for them with like numbers and letters like I kind of showed you. Um, it doesn't have to be super complicated and you can find some of those um, on that website that I shared. What if your kid hates everything and doesn't want to cooperate or concentration stops after like five or 10 minutes? So I think the one thing that I learned last year was that um, my daughter stopped liking school and there's going to be days where your kids aren't going to want to do it i think that's like with any kid they're not going to want to go to school some days um if they go to public school or private school or things like that um there's always going to be days that are going to be hard one thing that i've learned is just to make it fun make it fun for them making it exciting for them and not putting too much pressure on them to perform because at the end of the day if they're not engaging in what they're learning or they don't want to i think it's like okay well what can i do better to help them with that um, and so I think last year I was just, I was a little stressed and I just put a lot of pressure on myself and my daughter to like meet these expectations. And it's like, okay, we just need to like chill out and just like take one day at a time and just make it fun for her and to just give her room to, yeah, just figure things out on her own. There's always gonna be hard days. And I mean, not every kid's gonna wanna do school every single day. Again, just to try to take the pressure off of them and on you. Okay, how do you do it with your baby crawling around who distracts everyone? So this is a great question because like I said, we don't really do school unless Carter is sleeping because he is constantly pulling at my leg. He's whining, he's wanting to be held. Like it's very, very challenging. If he is awake and we're not finished something, um, I have a bunch of toys up here in the living room that's quite close to our dinner table because that's where we do our school work. And he'll just um, play with toys. We actually just got a great new um, Love Every um, play kit in the mail and um, he's been loving this one. So he loves to play with all the toys and all that stuff. Um, it's, it's really great because Love Every makes um, play kits that are specifically designed for your child at that specific age. And so he's been really loving the toys that are part of this kit. And it's been really great for him to like be intrigued with something that you know creates learning for him. Um, and so he's been really loving that. So love, love Every and their products. We've always loved their toys, they last such a long time and it's awesome to see their little brains working as they play with the great toys that they have. Do you take breaks in between subjects and lessons? But yes, I do. I think it's really hard for, especially for a six year old, to just continuously do work for a long time. Like, you know, I grew up in public school, we had recess for a reason, like get outside, run around, have some fun. So I think, you know, do a lesson, do some work and then go out and have some fun, do some physical activity, it's just really great it's really great for their brain to have a break from just doing work constantly throughout the day. And again, school is not just sitting at, down at the table, it's also just in real life, it's out in nature, it's outside, it's um, doing things around the home, um, it's not always just sitting at the table. So yes, we do take breaks between formal lessons, yes, because it's super important. 
All right, so that kind of concludes my homeschooling video, kind of what we're using, what we're doing this year. If again, you have any questions, please put it down in the comments below. Um, make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate that so, so much. And I'm really looking forward to making more videos regarding homeschooling, but just kind of getting back into the swing of things now that the school year and everything has started, because I know for me, it feels kind of like the, like the beginning of the year when summer's kind of ending and you get back into your regular routines and everything like that. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for sticking around and being here and we'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.